hereby convene this 130th... I hereby convene this, the 147th commencement of the State University of New York at Geneseo. He is a person of astonishing integrity. An incredible passion for liberal education. He is leaving a tremendous legacy here. We've seen a huge difference here on campus. A leader that revs people up. He really elevated the discussion, not only on campus, but off of campus. To be personable and outgoing and, and not sit on the title of president. That's because Chris has built such a good team on the campus. And he always seems genuinely interested in what you have to say. He's, he's a remarkable person, he really is. Chris Dahl arrived at Geneseo in 1994 as provost and professor of English. Just one year later, the president of Geneseo accepted a new job, leaving the position open. And so, you know, essentially in his second year here, he's acting president. We saw his warmth, we saw his congeniality, and we saw his passionate commitment to, to achieving excellence at this college and take it to a new level. This is exactly what he's done. I would say that the primary quality of Chris as a leader is generosity of spirit. He is invested in the success of others. He makes that clear for people. And he works so hard and is so articulate in his view of the mission that others want to join and work hard too. Well, I have relatives in Philadelphia, you know, when I first started working here in 1972, they had no clue. You know, Geneseo, where, where, where the hell is Geneseo? Now uh, the college is known. Geneseo is a part of the Coplac campuses, which are the liberal arts colleges, and he was always very involved there, and his discussions, I think, are quite legendary. We came together, I think, as fellow travelers and, and determined reformers uh, to make liberal education not just something that happened for some students, but as something that was a resource for the nation. Uh, a resource for our global leadership and a necessary commitment to democracy. His vision as a president was very much, very firmly uh, rooted in the liberal arts tradition, very um, dedicated to the public liberal arts mission. Chris is the most creative, energetic partner I had in Livingston County. He and I had a vision to put Livingston County on the national and international map. Chris loves graduation. For weeks ahead of time, he would just be sort of almost giggling with excitement. In an understated kind of way, he really is the energizer bunny. He genuinely enjoys the social aspect with students, with faculty, with staff. Always very well dressed. I have this secret suspicion that Chris actually sleeps in a button-down shirt and a tie. During Christopher Dahl's 18-year presidency, he championed the college's liberal arts mission to develop socially responsible citizens. Through his leadership, SUNY Geneseo has carved its own niche among the nation's premier public liberal arts colleges, gaining national stature and respect. His vision was to focus on the quality of education, not to increase the size of the institution, preserving the close relationships and richness of the liberal arts experience for students faculty, and staff. His accomplishments are many and include establishing a chapter of Phi Beta Kappa, the most prestigious academic honor society in the United States, and the only chapter at a public undergraduate college in New York. Geneseo has earned recognition from the White House for its community service efforts every year since 2006. More than $350 million in new construction and renovation have transformed teaching and learning on campus. These facilities enable faculty to prepare students to engage with and change the world. Dahl has also led Geneseo's historic campaign, Shaping Lives of Purpose. Donors, including Chris and his wife Ruth, have contributed more than $22 million, the greatest fundraising achievement in college history. He recently helped launch Finger Lakes Opera, 
reflecting his passion for the performing arts, which enhance the quality of life for so many in our community. Many will remember Chris as a baritone in the Geneseo Festival Chorus. His love for the performing arts is equaled only by his passion for the life of the mind. He's one of the few board chairs I've had who actually talked to me about my scholarly interests. What college president actually reads, has, takes time to read, for God's sake, what some of his colleagues are writing? And he not only reads it, but he appreciates it. Work, play, and community service were often one and the same to Chris. In 2010, Chris accompanied Geneseo students, faculty and staff, emeriti and community members to help rebuild homes devastated by Hurricane Katrina in Biloxi, Mississippi. Just come off the roof of this house on Briarfield Drive in Biloxi, Mississippi, where we're all working with Livingston Cares uh, to totally rehab the house. The first time I met him was on the trip to Biloxi. I thought a really cool experience that I had was at the GFR reception. We're all standing around and the president walks into the room. He comes up to me, shakes my hand, asks me how school's going. He said, oh, I heard you're applying to these different schools. Do you know where you're going to be going uh, next year? And one of my friends turned around and said, oh, who was that? I'm like, oh, that was the president of the university. The campus has become much more international and much more diverse. So when my organization formed a partnership with the Ministry of Health in Haiti, Chris told me that he was ready to make sure that it was successful, and he did. I felt what we were doing as an institution was making a difference in shaping the lives of our students. The national profile that the institution has today is far improved from when he arrived. We all admire the amazing accomplishments that he's led forward. And he's a genuine intellectual who loves the life of the mind. Chris was always ready for that next big idea. He taught me that, you know, you can be a decent human being and a top flight administrator at the same time. And it's definitely a very uh, rewarding experience to, to know that you have a personal relationship with the president of the university. I feel just lucky to have been able to work with him. He's, he's a remarkable person, he really is. We have the talent, we have the vision of what's best in higher education, and above all, we have the ability to work together as a community to confront any challenge that faces us and the ability to prevail.